Hi, here's my tutorial on how to make a uh, flashing name button for Call of Duty. Alright, open up your notepad and type SETA, S E T A, name, then say B, then wait. Uh, 5 is fast, 15 is medium, and 30 is slow. I'm going to do 12. Then do Satan name. It's not in seconds, by the way. And then BO or something. And then wait 12 Satan name Bob, right? Alright, once you've done that, obviously don't delete it like I'm going to be. You click save as. Now, you will obviously save in the, my documents or something like that. Um, I, you not meant to. Go my computer, local disk C, program files. Um, Activision, Call of Duty, main, and then uh, you save it in here. As, um, whatever dot cfg. Okay, now I don't need to save it because I'd need it. But then whatever dot cfg, I'll cancel it. But then say you're in your game and you want to use this, so you hit the console key, which is the key next to one, not two, the other side. Um, the other side of one. Uh, and then you type four slash bind. Then the key you want to bind it to, say eight or something. Then exec, which stands for execute. Then start speech marks. Whatever. Dot cfg. End speech marks. And then when at the scoreboard at the end of the map, hit the key that you bound it to, say eight and it will start changing your name to whatever you want to say I owned you or something now here's like an example of what I've done with it I'll look at this C program files Activision call or GT main right now see look there's my first one I made name I bound this to the P key and then it looks like someone's typing out death owns you and then a head thing and then boom headshot obviously they're the color codes and stuff for it like light blue and stuff um, and one I made of my friend Irish owns you and then it starts flashing colors and then back to his original name and uh, stuff well they're them but the CFG will look like that an unable file so you click so that you click something like open it'll come up with that you click set program from list and so you click um, notepad okay that's how you open a cfg file if you want to edit it well um that's my tutorial on how to do it um thank you please subscribe and the rest of it